Hey everybody, welcome back to Risen. Alright, now we're going to be continuing the, uh... Oh, that's right, left click. Nothing here, okay. Well, anyway, we're going to be continuing the story here. Oh, hey, gold coin, cool. Well, hopefully. A healing potion, yes. Exploration is always a good thing in these games because they will. Whoa, who the fuck? Oh, that right, that guy. I found this sword. Good. I hope you know how to use it. What can you tell me about this place? What do you want to know? Looks like I'm going to be stuck here for a while. Anywhere I can get some food or pick up some gold? Ha! Huh, not round here at any rate. I just asked for this post so I can watch the storms. Amazing things when they blow past. Strange how they never come inland. A few weeks ago I would have sent you to Harbour Town, but not anymore. Why not? It's full of inquisition. Protecting those ruins and recruiting for the damn white robe cult at the monastery. I'm with the Don myself. We're the only ones who are still free. Living in a camp in the middle of a swamp. But freedom's freedom. I'd head to the swamp. See if the Don will take you in. Or try your luck in Harbour Town. Just stay away from the monastery. I did a little bit of reading, and there are three major factions in this. There's the Rebels, which is apparently uh, the faction this guy's a member of. The Inquisitors, which is the guy with the glowing red gem eye you saw in the intro video. Um, and apparently, I guess they use like some type of magic power. I'm not exactly sure how their stuff works, but. Uh, it's not quite the same as the third faction, which is the wizards or mages. So, let's see here. So is Harbour Town safe? What are the Inquisition doing there? Not much at the moment. There are still some of our boys in there. They might help you out. And that white robe lot probably won't bother you too much. I can show you the way, but believe me, you'd be better off at our camp. You mentioned a monastery. What happens there? The last place you want to be. It's where the Inquisition train their recruits. Brainwash them. Stay well away from there. What's the Don got to offer me? Meat, beer, a job. He might even train you as a fighter. You got a sword, after all. Most they'll let you have up at the monastery is a staff. Just a big stick. That's not a real weapon. There's a girl came ashore with me. She's in an abandoned house to the south. South? Must be the old shipwrecker's house. I'll head that way later. If she's there, I'll take her somewhere safe. Hey, cool. I could do with some help before I go. I'm injured. Mm, so you are. There's a water barrel in the corner. Take a good drink and freshen up. You stink of seawater. If you're planning on getting hurt again, you should get your hands on a few healing potions. Where can I find some? Well, they don't grow on trees. You'll have to find a trader for those. There are a few traders still around. Can you show me the way to Harbour Town? Sure. Follow me. Okay, water barrel, right? Okay, so if water barrels actually provide healing, what the hell is the point of healing potions? Okay, is there any more shit to loot while I'm running? Ah, uh, it's seen something. I spotted you. I did a little bit of reading on what exactly to expect, you know, more or less. Nothing really major, no major spoilers or anything like that, but, um... Moth, like I really needed this asshole. But, uh... It basically also told me, don't get rid of anything, basically. Uh, well, that's a fucking wolf. See that farm down in the valley? I see it. Some of the Inquisition's minions work down there. Novices, they call them. They're apprentices to the mages in the monastery. Talk to them. They'll help you get to Harbour Town. 
But once you don't find yourself accidentally recruited, you get recruited, there'll be no welcome for you at the Don's camp. Thanks. I can take it from here. I'm sure you can. Good luck. See you around. Also, I found out uh, how level up or leveling up is actually accomplished. It's uh, you have to find a trainer, and as long as you have uh, the uh, learning points, you can use the trainer to uh, go ahead and bump up your various skills. Are you crazy walking around here? What do you think will happen if the Inquisition catch you, eh? Are you going to call them? Hey, I won't give you away, but the warriors of the Order often come by here to check on things. So I'm just saying, you better be careful. Who's in charge here? Brother Tristan. You can usually find him in front of the farmhouse. He's taken the farm over. He runs the place now. I see. What do you do here? I'm working in my field. Your field? Yeah. This one's mine, and the other one on the other side of the path is Teller's. Of course, he's further along working his one. Always is. Don't know how he does it. He's already taken his whole harvest to the storehouse. But I'm afraid I won't be able to get my harvest in on time. I can't spot the ripe plants from the unripe. They all look the same to me. Do you need help? You serious? Well, I wouldn't say no. And what kind of compensation would not saying no come with? Well, I'm only a novice, so I don't have much. But if you harvest the plants and bring them to me, I'll give you a healing potion. How about that? Deal. I'll bring you those ripe plants. Great. Then I might actually be able to start my mage training before this place goes completely to the dogs. Just look out for the ripe ones in my field, all right? Ten should be enough. Bring them back here, all right? Ah, uh, yes. Heal. Quest. What, what? I'm reminded of a quest in uh, Oblivion, if I recall correctly. I think uh, there was one like this in Morrowind, too, but it's been such a long fucking time uh, since I've actually done anything with Morrowind. It's okay, that's six out of... I uh, was trying to grab a chicken. Well... I was gonna say, I hope this game's not going in that direction. Okay, I'm missing two grain. Go back over it. There we go, one more grain, and then we're out of this shithole. Fucking chicken, if you don't get the hell out of here, I'm gonna be collecting some experience points. Or more likely one experience point. Like in Divinity 2, Ego, Draconis, um, chickens are actually worth one XP. Which is kind of amusing, because in the, in the first, uh, region you start out in, um, I guess the tutorial region. Chickens are fucking everywhere. And one game mechanic in that one is mind reading. Where you can pick up secrets like uh, combinations to chests or locations of treasures or other things like that. And you can also get skill points and things like that by mind reading people. And that costs experience. Well, the initial people you can mind read, uh, it only costs one experience point to uh, mind read them. Well... It's kind of funny because uh, I found out you can just kill all the fucking chickens and spend those experience points to, you know, mind read. It's actually kind of an interesting mechanic because you have a choice. Do I delay my next level up to, you know, mind read and potentially find a really cool treasure? Or do I just hog all the experience points and... Hmm. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Hog all the experience points and level up a little bit quicker. Decisions, decisions. Here are your ten ripe plants. Thanks. Without you, I would have been in a whole world of trouble. 
The healing potion is yours. How often do these warriors of the Order come up here? The Inquisitor sends one once every couple of days. They like to keep a check on things. He picks up what we've harvested and the meat and takes it to the monastery, where they no doubt stuff their faces. If I were you, I'd hide when he shows up. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, I don't think I can handle an Inquisitor. Welcome, stranger. What's brought you to our troubled isle? The tide. I'm a shipwreck survivor. Well, it's a strange kind of luck that's washed you onto these shores. But I must warn you, you cannot wander freely around here. I don't mind, but the warriors of the Order are less forgiving. Who are you? My name is Tristan, a novice of magic. I'm looking after this place, on the orders of the Convocation of Mages. What is this place? Just a simple farm. It's under the control of the Inquisition now. We cultivate the land and take care of the animals. Our work ensures the well-being of the Order and Inquisitor Mendoza's men. You mentioned the Convocation. What do the mages have to do with the Inquisition? The Convocation of Mages has long had their seat here in the monastery at the foot of the Great Volcano. It was a place of study and faith before the dark wave covered the land and those temple ruins had risen from the ground. And now the Inquisitor is here seeking to push back that darkness. We're very lucky he found us in our hour of need. Now the monastery not only serves as the Mages' home, but also as a training camp for recruits of the Inquisition. I see. What do you think I should do next? Well, I wouldn't recommend you wander around alone. Quickest way to the next life. Perhaps you would be best advised to let the warriors of the Order train you as a recruit. Training with the fighting staff and the basics of magic could be just the thing for you. If you're not a fighter, there are merchants in the town might have use of you. Just make sure you don't get taken in by the outlaws that Don commands. Or is it that you are interested in the higher magic that we novices pursue? That would mean finding a way to the monastery without being arrested by the Inquisitor's men. You may find someone in the town who would help you do that. The choice is yours. In any case, you will find members of each group in Harbour Town. They can tell you more. So, if I were you, I would make that my first stop. How do you get into Harbour Town? The law of the Inquisitor says that no one is allowed to be outside of the town without permission. The main gate of the town is currently being guarded by warriors of the Order. You can't just stroll in. You novices must know other ways to get inside the town. Well, yes. There is a way, but it's not easy to reach. Harbour Town has a rear entrance up to the north. As far as I know, that is guarded only by the old town guards. You could try your luck persuading them to let you in. Can you take me to Harbour Town? I can't leave my post at the farm, I'm afraid. But Brother Teller will accompany you there if you wish. Great. Thanks for the advice. If you're wanting help, you must be willing to provide help in oh, return. Fuck off. Do you trade here on the farm? Trade? With who? Other than Esteban's bandits, there's nobody out here. What about me? Will you trade with me? I don't have much to offer, but you're welcome to look. Okay. What should I do for you? Talk to my brothers here on the farm and make yourself Very useful. Good, Once we no longer need your help, we'll happily escort you to Harbour Town. Let's trade. Purchase price at 30, okay. I've got 75. Uh, let me see here. Ring, gold value. Oh, no, fuck you. I'm not. Yo, fuck yourself, pal. I ain't selling a gold ring for 10. No, this guy can go fuck himself. I guess I gotta go help this fucking idiot. Watch your feet. There's grain growing here. Do you need any help here? No thanks. I could have done with you a while ago though. Thanks anyway. Tristan says you can take me to Harbour Town. I can. But did Tristan say I should take you there? Not exactly. 
<laughs> well, ask me again when he does. Your grain is going to be picked up soon. Says who? Oh, it'll be Thomas, am I right? He should try working instead of chatting with strangers. My field is twice the size of his, and it still only takes me half the time to cultivate it. He makes lazy people look busy, does Thomas. Okay, if I can't get this motherfucker to send that dude with me. About your farm. Teller doesn't have anything for me to do. He finished his work a while ago. Ah oh, yes, Teller is our hardest worker. Two dozen of him and our problems would be over. The grain harvest is finished. Good. It's reassuring to know that if we must die, we will not die hungry. Here are a few coins. Alas, Thomas is our problem child. If he worked as hard as he moaned, he'd have completed the harvest long ago. Perhaps he should reconsider his desire to be a mage. Okay, are you gonna fucking take me or am I gonna fucking murder you? You should get some training. I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay. You know what? We're going to be testing something here. Yeah! We'll get him! Well, I'm not doing any damage to him. You have no one to blame but yourself. Huh, <laughs> okay. Well, so much for that one. Okay, well. Just checking. So I'm guessing this takes me to Harbor Town. That must be Harbor Town down that way. And we got flying shit cruising around. Yeah, apparently the uh, wing dust is uh, a vital component in uh, creating scrolls. I'm not sure what class I'm going to go with with this, frankly, because uh, I considered just sticking with a bog standard fighter, because that's usually the easiest class to uh, get things done with in these games, but on the other hand, it might just be uh, more fun to do it as a mage, because that's what I usually do in these games. Uh-oh, hello. Bad dog. Oh, hey, you had a partner over here, you motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking turd. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, hungry wolf. What'd you get, motherfucker? Okay. Trying to figure out where the hell that bridge is going. I would fight those things, but huh, I don't really see a need to do that right now. I will absolutely be grinding XP later, though, but that's going to be likely off camera. I'm not interested in fighting. I just kind of want to advance the story a little bit. Unlike certain other games, it's not forcing me into battle. Well, it might be forcing me into this one, but okay, I guess this is my running speed. <laughs> How much of a fucking encumbrance do I have? I mean, well, I was gonna go get that. But... Hey, there's loot over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to kick your guys' asses because you know there's. Oh, you're eating a chick, dude! Come on. Oh, fuck. Uh, 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 shit. Oh, we're out of here. Too strong. Too strong. We're leaving. Just call my character Brave Sir Robin, but fuck you. Ah, shit. They're fucking coming after me. Hey, what are you doing here? You are one of us. Oh, this is the wrong fucking game. Oh, good. Stop right there. Go fuck yourself. Stop right there. Stop. 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 
Hurry up. Sorry, the, uh... The, uh, RPG, um, D&D murder hubble looter right impulse there. took over. Are you motherfuckers gonna chase me clear across creation? I mean, seriously? Okay, it looks like they gave up. I seen that last monster fading out. Okay, well, we're gonna use one of these. Alright. Where are we at on the experience? 100 experience points needed. I have to kick something's ass because are you a sea vulture or are you a. What are you? Oh, you look a little too strong for me. Uh, for the moment. If there weren't two of them, I'd be tempted to go ahead and take one on. Yep, folks. I'm the hero everyone deserves. Alright, we're gonna see if we can handle... There's like four of those fuckers, so... Definitely got to get better at combat. Oh, fucking oh. God. Okay. Definitely got to get better at combat. Get some fucking gear, too, because, uh, this rags and a sword shit ain't gonna work. Maybe I should off camera head back down towards the beach area and explore a little bit more and uh, see if I can't get um, Oh, I guess you can leave the map open while you're running around. Awesome. That's a useful thing to know. There couldn't possibly be any bandits or any other nasty fucking things like that hanging out in a at the end of a crevice like that. No. Huh? Give me your XP, motherfucker. There we go. Anything else out here easy to kill? What the fuck are you? Yeah. Fighting a fucking Ewok or what? Oh, it's like lizard life. Okay, yeah, and it's also kicking my ass, so I'm getting out of here. Hold on. Be right with you, buddy. Oh, shit. He looted my fucking corpse. Well, it ain't like I wouldn't have done the same to him, so, you know, fair is fair. Okay, I definitely need to get some distance weapons going on here. Ah! I saw something light up, and I was like thinking, loot? But no, just a sign. I will say that that's definitely one really nice aspect of this game here, too, is both a functioning map and a uh, signage that actually does something. Fuck off, wolf. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Alright, gotta think more strategically. Let me guess. I didn't save after that. It did say combat can be a little bit difficult on this. Yeah. What? Uh, uh, oh. uh, Rover. What the fucker? Oh, 
โอเคมันก็ little damage yeah the jumping mechanics when you're not really trained is well it leaves something to be desired wonder if I can lure one of those bastards in Yes, I'm safe, scumming. Sue me. Where's that other motherfucker at? I know there's two of you. God damn it. Fuck. Third one in there. Like that old fucking joke. Um, basically, it goes something like this. I'm probably not going to tell it right, but basically, a bunch of Japanese soldiers in World War II are on an island, and uh, they see one single Marine standing on top. Oh fuck! On top of the uh, ridge there, and uh, the commander in charge of the Japanese troops says to two of his guys basically, hey, there's only one marine up there. Go up there and kick his ass. You know, go get his shit. You know, take him prisoner. So, uh... Oh, shit. I'm not, I don't need a fucking frame rate problem here. What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? thought one of these entrances was supposed to be like okay everything is like coming after me all of a sudden like what the fuck is there a back way in this motherfucker I mean come on after me or are you coming after all that shit? Hey, you! Don't you know it's forbidden to run around outside the town? Are you part of the town guard? That's right. I'm guarding the gate so no one can leave. Shouldn't you stand inside then? Well, I also have to stop people coming in. What if I want to get in? I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Or would you rather go to the monastery? How much to let me in? Hundred gold coins. But you can't come and go as you like. Once you're in, you're in. You're asking for a lot of gold. Be glad I don't take twice as much to save you from the monastery. But I'm not an asshole. I'm willing to haggle. Not an asshole. If you don't have enough gold, you can trade things instead. Just let me in. You're in a hurry. Don't you want to know what's waiting for you in there? Let's trade. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to give some shit up here. Alright, miscellaneous. Well, don't really have a choice. Hang on to that. Keep the keys. Keep that.
Okay, 1.6. I was gonna say, wait a fucking minute. He's gonna give me 16 gold for a fucking club? It's a goddamn stick. Well, 1.6 gold is still better than nothing. And there's ammunition requirements in this, which I'm actually okay with. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, that's 38.4 gold, so trade items. Your goods are worth more than mine. I'll offer you an extra 38 gold. Okay. Here's your gold. All right, but not a word to anyone about our little deal. Otherwise, we'll both wind up in the monastery. Are you going to let me in? Well, you want to go in uninformed, that's up to you. But here, at least take a town map. Good luck. You'll need it. All right, so now we're in Harbor Town. I mean, it's not like since this is such an insular community, it's not like uh, they're not going to know I'm not from around here anyway. For a minute there, a guy looked like fucking Mr. Spock. I guess that must be a guard tower or something. Oh yeah, I read the manual, and uh... It also does happen to mention, um, you do have to sneak before you can go busting into people's houses and shit like that. This is one of those games. It's not going to allow you just to go wandering around in people's houses and taking their shit like so many other, say, JRPGs and shit like that. They, you know, people will get mad at you for doing that kind of stuff. And of course, there's pickpocketing too. You're new here, right? Leto let you in, huh? So? What if he did let me in? Don't worry. I won't give you away. After all, we don't want any trouble with the law. I've had more than enough already. Okay, you've literally never met me before. You don't know me from Adam, and you're bragging about having trouble with the law. That seems like a great way to wind up with a fucking hemp necklace, buddy. You've had trouble with the law. Ha! <laughs> The law is just an excuse to lock us all in the town. The Order wants to loot the ruins in peace. Once they've taken the last crumb of gold out of the ruins, they'll let us out again. Don Esteban figured that out right away. Why are you in the town and not in the swamp? Simple. The Don doesn't let go of things that belong to him. Some of us are keeping business going here until the Inquisition move on. What's the Order doing about the Don's men? They stop us where they can. Since they came here with their fancy white uniforms, they've never taken their eyes off us. They're just waiting for us to step out of line. Then they'll take us to the monastery. Keep your eye out for Sebastian. He's always around, watching. Sounds like you could use some help. We could. I have to scrape together a lot of gold for the Don. If I don't send him something soon, if I don't get some gold in, I'll have problems with my own boys. If you help me, I can cut you in for a slice. What business do you do? Anything that brings gold. Gold's the only way we can challenge the Alder and the Warriors, isn't it? Taking the town back is what it's all about. We control the town, we control the island. For now, though, the Inquisitor and Commandant Carlos are in charge. So what's your step? All right. Tell me about Commandant Carlos. He's the Inquisitor's watchdog. His headquarters is in the guardhouse. He sits up there controlling everyone's lives. But it's only a matter of time before he pisses enough people off. 
What are you offering if I do help you? Well, I'll give you gold. And I can teach you a few things too. Give a man a fish, and he'll stink for a day. Give him a rod. You want to teach me to fish? In a manner of speaking. Fish for gold. I can make a pickpocket out of you. Word to the wise. You should look to the Don. Join him before you get swallowed and pissed out by the order. What can I do? Hmm. Costa the pawnbroker's doing good business here in the gutters. He's preying on the farmers and stuffing his pockets with gold. So, what do you need doing? Since the order has been here, he hasn't paid his dues to the Don. Hired himself a bodyguard, he has, and he pays the Inquisition's taxes. What about the Don's taxes, eh? Where's our slice? Someone needs to make sure we get paid. I'll get your gold. Good. It's time we showed him we're still in charge in the gutters. But it won't be easy. Costa won't pay voluntarily. At least, not now he's got himself a bodyguard. How should I get the gold from him? I really don't care. If you give him a beating, you can probably just take it. But don't kill him. No point killing the golden goose. And it'll get the Inquisition on our backs. But teaching his bodyguard a lesson wouldn't hurt. So this is basically this game's version of Thieves Guild or some shit like that. Essentially an organized crime. Of course, you know, a name like Dawn, you know. It's kind of a given, but... How much does Costa owe? He's caused a lot of trouble. I'd say he owes 300 gold coins for that alone. You can keep half. Is there any advice you can give me? If you just cut loose on Costa, you'll have to take care of him and his bodyguard at the same time. It'd be better to deal with them one by one. Try to provoke them. One at a time. They start the fight, then no one will interfere. You start the fight, you'll have problems with the guards. Very much like Morrowind. All right, guys. With that, I do believe I am going to go ahead and call this one right here. Actually, I probably should have, uh, eh, whatever. Probably should have been making hard saves a little bit more, but whatever. We'll go ahead and hard save here. If I have to go back, it'll uh, involve having to replace some stuff, but whatever. Anyway, we're going to take this particular attack at least. Uh, hopefully this guy can lead me to some training so I can get, you know, some of the more useful stuff going. Um, it doesn't appear to use a character class type thing, from what I understand. It's a faction thing, so I hopefully will be able to actually uh, learn some of these um, various spells and whatnot. I kind of hope it's got more uh, magic than this in store, but if that's all it's got, then that's all it's got. But, you know, whatever. I'm okay with simple RPG mechanics, too. It, 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 does, it doesn't all have to be Dungeons and Dragons, you know what I mean? Alright guys, with that, I will catch you guys later. Next time, we will continue in Harbortown and see what other trouble we can get into.